We want to live at any price, so we cannot burden ourselves with feelings which, though they might be ornamental enough in peacetime, would be out of place here. Anyway the war is over so far as they are concerned. But to wait for dysentery is not much of a life either. Never do anything complicated when something simple will serve as well. It's one of the most important secrets of living. It was a melancholy secret that reality can arouse desires but never satisfy them. Everyone saves someone at least once. Just as he kills someone at least once. Even though he may not know it. It is too dangerous for me to put these things into words. I am afraid they might then become gigantic and I'd be no longer able to master them. You won't get old. Life will pass over your face, that will be all, and it will become more beautiful. One is old only when one no longer feels. Someone said to me once that a cigarette at the right moment is better than all the ideals in the world. Our thoughts are clay. They are molded with the changes of the days, when we are resting they are good, under fire, they are dead. Fields of craters within and without. It's not much. You begin by thinking there is something extraordinary about it. But you'll find out, when you've been out in the world a while longer, unhappiness is the commonest thing there is. Someday perhaps our time will be known as the age of irony. Not the witty irony of the 18th century but the stupid or malignant irony of a crude age of technological progress and cultural regression. Then when I am sad and understand nothing anymore, I say to myself that it's better to die while you still want to live, than to die and want to die. Regret is the most useless thing in the world. One cannot recall anything. And one cannot rectify anything. Otherwise we would all be saints. Life did not intend to make us perfect. Whoever is perfect belongs in a museum. The idea of authority, which they represented, was associated in our minds with a greater insight and a more humane wisdom. Nothing is the mirror in which you see the world. We had suddenly learned to see. And we saw that there was nothing of their world left. We were all at once terribly alone, and alone we must see it through. Night is nature's protest against the leprosy of civilization, Gottfried. No decent man can withstand it for long. He begins to notice that he has been turned out of the silent company of the trees, the animals, the stars, and unconscious life. Give them all the same grub and all the same pay slash and the war would be over and done in a day. We lie under the network of arching shells and live in a suspense of uncertainty. If a shot comes, we can duck, that is all, we neither know nor can determine where it will fall.